Okay, I am laying out facets on this axe handle blank. Got a uh, charcoal pencil. Makes it a little easier to see the line. Now I'm going to do something I call a pencil trick. You put your finger against the pencil at the distance that you want the line to be. And then you just run your finger Then you make your line. You can flip this around. Now you've got a layout line for one side. And flip it around. Side two. Splinter in front of my finger along that grain. This is hickory. Then, the second thing is you're going to make a slightly smaller exposure. Maybe a little bit more than that, like that. Now you've got two lines that we're just going to play connect the dots with in a minute. Show you how I do that once, and then you can just multiply it times the other three sides. Okay, so I've got all my layout lines. I'm going to grab my portable shave force here, which, if you're looking for other builds or the uh, build video for this, I have uh, another video on YouTube. Now, what I'm going to do. Because I'm going to connect these two lines on this side here and on the top there. So I just pull until those two are connected and I've got my first side of the facet. So um, there's a lot of grain uh, change, grain direction change, so you got to constantly be flipping the knife around or repositioning the blank, but it goes pretty quickly. You can see I just work down to those two lines. That is the wrong direction, but it is the easy direction. You can always go back in with a knife at the very, very end and clean up all your transitions. This is a little bit wide to sweep through those turns, but we get there pretty quickly. Two. Can flip this over. Thinking about being spring out there. You got your birds chirping, but it's only 45 degrees. Otherwise, I'd be sitting out in the driveway catching some sun. Another grain changes, so you flip the knife around. So there's one little spot here that's a little bit goofy that I'll go back and get with a knife. But I can also start testing it for how does it fit. Because if it's the wrong size, maybe I want to thin it one direction or the other. Uh, this is, you know, uh, a handle for me. So 
I can customize it to make it like a tennis racket sizing. portable horse and you're not looking to build one you can just do this holding it in a bench vise works just about the same this is nice because you get to sit I'm going to leave this oversized so it dries out a little bit then I'll come back over and finish cut it in a couple of months maybe. So that's as far as I need to take it for now. Maybe I'll just cut across this hand grain real fast. Like I said, you can start handling it with your own two hands and figure out if everything is, is right. How you use an axe. like it's about right but just like that you've got yourself a new handle for your axe your little carving hatchet and you know you can fit the head when uh, when you need to hopefully that's been helpful thanks for watching